Hey, what's up, guys? It's the one million game right here, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get some emulators that I have, and I personally think are good emulators. So, without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. So, the first two emulators are GB Enter iOS and IMDS. I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with it, but for those who are not, GBA for iOS is a is an emulator that can emulate um, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy. It was um, made by Riley Tet 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 Tet. However you pronounce it, I don't know much to say about MD INDS except it's a Nintendo DS emulator. I don't know who it was made by, but you know what? I can actually find out. Um, I think it's by William Cobb. William William Cobb. I think that's who it's made by. Okay, so if you want to download these, you're gonna have to wait a little while. So to do this, you would have to open your iEmulators application or type in Safari iEmulators. And right now, these two things are invoked. There's the Build Store, but you'll have to sign up for that. Next emulator that can never be shut down is Gameplay Color. So you know you're in your iEmulators app site, and you know this Gameplay Color. So you click that, and you click the Head to Site um, tab. Then you see this. You know that. You click Play Now. And then you'll want to sign up. You have to do, you'll want to, you know, do the setup. Tap the square with the arrow. Wait, and then click Add to Home Screen. You can, you can name it whatever you like. I, I will not, I cannot influence your decision. But for me, I'm gonna name it GBC for iOS. iOS. I'm gonna add it to my home screen. And then, really, to do this, it's quite easy. Um, just open it, uh, open it, you know, it'll ask for that, it'll ask for that, but there are two apps that you'll need, you'll need Google Drive and File Hub, these two apps are free, and, yeah, so, when you'll sign up for Google Drive or log in, and then for here, you from here, you'll click sign in, and it'll give you an access code. I already have an access code, so I'm gonna paste that in. Hopefully it works. There we go, continue. Unable to sign in, great. I have to, I have to get a new one, which stinks, but eh, whatever. I'm gonna allow it. And uh, that's my new access code. Copy. And... Paste. Continue. Unable to sign in. Why? Why does it do this to me? Um, gameplay color. Why do you do this? Um, hold on. Let me open Google Drive real quick. Drive. Um, this is my drive. Um, this is my drive. What is this? Whatever. Um, that's odd. Um, let me try it again. Cause for some strange reason, it won't sign me in. Paste. Continue. Great. Sign in. So I'm gonna allow access to it. That is my code. Uh, let me make sure that's right. There, all of it is highlighted. Copy. And then open gameplay color and, um, paste. Let me paste it in. Bam. There we go. There's my gameplay color. It says tap to choose a game. I'm gonna do that. It'll load all my ROMs from Google Drive. And so y you need File Hub to um, import the ROMs to Google Drive. So I'm gonna download. So let's close Gameplay Color and let's um, let's, let's go to Love ROMs. Love ROMs. Let's do that. <clears throat> For the sake of this video, I'm gonna search for Pokemon Home. Um, if this will load anytime now, anytime. Anytime, there we go. No, it, it'll give you an ad. Just, just exit out. Pokemon Green. I think that's a thing. 
That should be a thing. No data available. Oh, no, no. Ooh, Pokemon Green. I knew that was a thing. Um, okay, so, you know, you have this part for the Pokemon Green. Uh, you'll click the Download Now tab. It'll, you'll wait, and you'll see you have this. You'll click Open in File Hub. Imports. There's that. Do you want to archive it? Yes. Edit. Delete. Delete. I want to trash that. Delete it. Yes. Archive it. Yes. Delete that. And then you'll click that and you'll click open in. And then you'll click copy to drive. And then once it's in drive, it'll go to gameplay color. Just wait a bit. Just wait a little bit. There. Pokemon Green is in. And then if I open gameplay color, um, as you can see, it'll say tap to choose a game. And my Pokemon Green will be there. Oh, you can also rename it if you open Dri Drive, Google Drive, not App Cola. Um, so we find Pokemon Green. If I can find it, there we go. Now rename. Uh, let me take out. Let me um take the. Ex the exclamation mark and the dot and the U. So as you can see, you can rename it something. And then now I'm going to show you how to put in box art for it. So you can close File Hub, you can close the Love ROMs or whatever ROM site you use. You close that, close it. There we go. Uh, you can close Drive if you like. You can close Gameplay Color. Now what you want to do is you want to open Google or whatever search engine you have, and then you just search for the name of the ROM. So for me, I put Pokemon Green. Pokemon Green. See? Okay, it'll give me some box art if it wants to. There we go. And then what you want to do is save the image. It'll save it. <coughs> Anytime now. Okay, so it, it saved my image. Now, if you go into your Photos app, by the way, this is all on iOS devices. Um, I don't know how to do this on Android or Samsung. You have to find another tutorial. Um, so you click Google Drive. If it doesn't show here, you just click the More, and you find Google Drive, and then you enable it, and um, click Google Drive. And what you want to name it? What you want to name it is the name of the ROM for for me, the Pokemon Green then dot jpg upload it to google drive it'll say upload complete and then you can delete your photos you can close your photos app you open gameplay color um <clears throat> tap to choose game and, and and look at that it has my box art now it'll run fine hopefully for you it might have some sound issues but it's okay Next up is um a uh, new gamepad. So um what you want to do is you want to open WeChat. You could sign up for it if you'd like. You, you actually have to sign up for it. And in the contacts, you want to search up no. If it asks you for your location or contacts, click don't allow. You don't want other people knowing your contact information or your location. So you want to type in new underscore gamepad look at that WeChat ID I found it so you want what you want to do next is click that and then click that it'll receive a message for you what you want to do is you want to click the blue link and it'll load up and then it'll ask you to open Safari or any internet browser for me I have Safari 
so far has been helpful throughout my time of emulation doing tutorials okay so you, so this is your access code so you you might want to copy that you might want to copy that and you want to click the gray tab it'll ask you to install simulator iOS which is new gamepad so it'll install it'll take some time but well while I'm waiting uh, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna you'll need two apps you'll need one app actually the other app was um, WeChat you'll need tunnel bear tunnel bear is a VPN thing since in the newest update of new gamepad it it is in Chinese, and it won't allow other people in other states. So what you want to do is you want to open Tunnel Bear. It might ask you to sign up. So you'll sign up for it, and then you'll click the country thingy. You'll click this thing, and then you'll want to search for Hong Kong, Tsar, China.